So, is it running? Yes. So what are we doing today, babe? I'm probably going to make a mess. Uh, I mean, that's that's for sure. We've already made a mess, displacing the stuff that was here, this cabinet and all the crap that was on top of it. Um, the idea, though, is we've got two entrances to the kitchen on the living room side, and we would be willing to sacrifice one, yes, mm -hmm. to make more counter space. So we have this spot right here, and um, if I continue this over, and we also like the angle on the TV, if, if a chair could be backed up to it at the angle, what I'm essentially going to do is make a triangular countertop right here. Mm -hmm. So I went to Lowe's, was it two days ago, and yeah. got some uh, butcher block. Because, you know, you, we, we, you could buy furniture and nothing would be as good as if you just custom made a piece, right? Mm -hmm. So it'll be kind of triangular except for right here. And it'll be two shelves. Mm -hmm. That's it. You always have those, I do anyway, I'm sure pros out there don't, but I always have those, those moments where like, I'm about to cut this thing. Did I set this up wrong? Should I do something different? I tell you a couple things right now. Like this blade is not the best one for this. I should be using a finishing blade, but I don't have one. I'm not going to run to town for it. So I'll go slow, um, and we'll see if it's uh, or sharp or not. If it starts smoking, let's see. There we go. So it would have been good to make sure I was deep enough. I'm throwing off a lot of smoke, aren't I? Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Let's uh, take this back up outside where I should have been doing it in the first place. What do you think? How mad at me are, are you right now? Well, it's already a mess. <laughs> I was going to say, this was intentional, right? We, we wanted to use a dull blade so that we had an excuse to open up the house. And it leaves these cool little burn marks. Whenever I'd stop the blade for a second, that looks neat. So I'm actually going to leave that, the rough uh, surface there, except for the edge right here. I'm just going to come along with a file, knock off any, any burrs, so to speak. Otherwise, I'm going to leave that. I am anything but a perfectionist. Sometimes the imperfections look cool. Uh, I know I'm probably not... Uh, alone out there but what do you think mm. interesting interesting you're gonna make me do it right fix it mm. sand it maybe maybe or do you like it it's okay all right well, let's see where we are now at least this is gonna go just underneath the I was gonna do straight across from it but I think I'll go just under it so you can see I'm going to have to cut a little into this to get it to rotate into, into position. So with much trial and tribulation, we've got it notched out here. Good tight fit notched around this piece. And then there's just really not much left over here to, to hold on to the corner. So I'll have to figure out how I want to mount that exactly. Um, I still kind of have this goofy idea in my mind of having it hinged over here, babe. And then it would just sit on, on like a block there in the corner. She, she's giving me a dirty look, by the way. She's like, ugh. Um, so now I've got this one pretty good. This is hopefully going to make a good template for the next one. And if I do a better job on that one, that'll be the one that's up top. And then this one with its defects and whatnot will be down below where you won't see it as much. But yeah, this is, I mean, you can't buy something like this. It's custom, right, babe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, is it going? Mm -hmm. So I started this way to get a, a grip, but then I turned it a little bit. And what I'm trying to do is sink this screw in there, and then I can cover it with some putty later. So let's see if this works. We don't have a lot of space for anchoring, but if I can get a, a couple of screws on it. I've got one on this side already, and if I can get this one here, that's a good angle to 
to anchor it. Let's try this. Whoop. <laughs> I might need the extender, otherwise I might scuff this up. We'll see if I can get close enough. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. So let's see. I put a little weight on this. <laughs> Didn't budge. And it's holding 200 pounds. So I think that's good. And actually, I've got a screw here, here, coming through the cabinet into the butcher block, um, which isn't that strong. I mean, it held me, but uh, it's particle, particle board here. Over here, I've got two screws into studs, so I want at least one screw here into the stud. So I'm going to do what I did there and get started. And then I'm going to slowly turn it. Get a little pocket there for the screw. Just a, a clear coat, semi gloss, and, and it's done. It's good. We'll call these, uh, what did I say? Floating shelves. Floating shelves, yes. It does kind of keep it feeling rather airy. So, yeah. Um, enough, we can get some of our our uh, electric skillet and griddle and stuff, kind of, you know, crock mm -hmm. pot. Uh, and then we can move this back over and get rid of this black plastic piece we've been using. Um, what do you think? Comments? From the peanut gallery? Not today. Not today. <laughs> Not today. All right. Well, I think, uh, what do you think about the, the burn marks from the blade? Mm hmm. I think it's pretty snazzy. You know, some people, they'd be like, oh, you should torch the top. No. No? <laughs> I'll keep it simple, right? Yep. <laughs> what's the what's the kiss method? Keep Remember it simple, that? stupid? Yes. Yes. All right. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, here's what it looks like from the other side.